Hey traders, traders, traders. Yes, welcome to the weekend analysis. It is another day and actually another weekend. So as usual, I share market outlook on weekends. So at least I'm going to provide uh, a probable direction uh, on gold now for the coming week now. Uh, so it will be from 24th of July to 28th of July. So it is just a five days market move. So what I'm providing here is just a probable direction. It's not a trading advice or investment advice. So make sure that you incorporate your own analysis. And if you find that they are aligning with what I'm saying here, so it will be okay for you to make trading decisions. And I recommend you to watch analysis from other analysts. Actually, I do the same. So sometimes I can try to check now uh, what other people think uh, the probable direction of gold now for the coming week. So that's very basic. So straightforward, I'm going to break down um, uh, gold into different time frames. And I will start with the higher time frame to the lower time frame. So I do the top down analysis. So it is just. Um, breakdown of the market into four different time frames and in lower time frame it's where i provide an exact direction uh, or exact probable direction of uh, of price now for the coming week so that's very powerful now starting with the monthly time frame so we can see some changes even though we are just uh, in between the month so at least i can provide a frame of what are we expecting now especially uh, especially um, by the end of the month so let me turn on the web counts and drawings yeah, so straightforward, the overall formation in monthly time frame. I have added something here that was not uh, presented in my previous analysis. Now, several months back, I have never had such formation. So I depicted something, I depicted something, and I realized that currently here, what the price is doing here on gold, it's moving sideways, a sort of sideways in monthly time frame. So what is forming in this sideways movement is just a sort of triangle. So there is a possible triangle formation at this region. So uh, <clears throat> if you do uh, chart patterns, now you can incorporate your own analysis now to see exactly is this a triangle? Now is it a possible triangle or is another formation or structural formation is happening here? So, but based on my analysis, I see triangle formation happening here. So forget about this one. So this is not uh, within a triangle. Now the triangle is this one. So the white line is just a different thing. So that's very, very basic. So actually <clears throat> in the monthly time frame also, now price is moving upward as i said in my previous analysis now several analysis back there i was talking about the price the possible move of price to the upside to retest this level so this in white so actually uh market has been doing so so has been pushing to the upside uh for <clears throat> now all the uh, now in three weeks consecutively now three weeks consecutively price has been pushing to the upside and i said this since the closing of the last month candle so that is very very powerful then pushing back to lower time frame now in the weekly time frame now in the weekly time frame we see a clear triangle here you see those push to the downside then push the upward then this one and the upside so we are looking forward for price to push down here so we're looking forward for price to push down here so that is mostly expected to happen and also um at this time frame you can see now i have this level here so <clears throat> i have this level here i have this level here so actually uh last week price closed below this level price closed below this level so my projection was now price is going to break the level and continue to the upside because the overall projection was to retest this white trend and so market has done so but it has again pushed it to this level now you see <clears throat> so now it broken the level pushed up and then now in the weekly time frame then pushed back to this level so what is happening now in lower time frame i'm going to provide exactly what is happening with this rejection from the upside so there is something very important here in relation to this rejection with this uh with this with this level here that's very very powerful 
So now before I go to daily time frame, I can provide a quick outlook of the, <clears throat> I mean, those who call the highlight of the news now for the coming week. What I'm providing here is not a fundamental analysis. I do the technical analysis, so it has nothing to do with the news. So actually, I'm, I'm trying to highlight those news hours so that uh, you are not going to trade uh, during news hours. You have to trade outside news hours. But if you are a fundamentalist, you can uh, just trade the fundamentals. That's very powerful. So basically, now this is the calendar, a Forex factory calendar. So we have news on Monday, so we can check for the whole week. Now, actually, we have news throughout the week. We have news throughout the week. So it's just a mix of high impact and low impact news. So basically, make sure that you trade outside news hours. So if you are maybe in trade during news hours, make sure that you protect your profits uh, because news actually, they can push price to a direction that is uh, that cannot be projected under technical analysis. So that's very powerful. So basically, now moving to daily time frame. Now, in daily time frame, now the first thing I can highlight here is uh, just to have this push to the upside in the five wave move. So I have marked them on uh, by green, uh, green labels. So basically, uh, currently price is pushing down to uh, information of the fourth. So it is pushing down information of the fourth, uh, the fourth wave. But at the same time. Uh, now, this is in relation to what I was saying there in weekly time frame that price has been rejected to the downside to this level. So now this pushing the fourth wave at the same time price is retesting this broken level, you see. So we see price retesting this broken level. So now last week we were here, now Friday candle was this one. So on Monday market opened with indecision, then on Tuesday it break the level to the upside. So actually, after breaking the level, price has never came back, uh, came back to the mean to, to, to this level. So currently, is at this level, so it is retesting. So the Friday candle has exactly retested the level. So if now this is going to be a true retest, a true retest. Uh, so we expect the price mostly now mostly price is um, is going to bounce from this level and continue to the upside. And at the same time, you see these channels here. You see the lower channel and the upper channel. So while the price is retesting this level, it is also hitting this channel. So actually, if it is going to respect this channel together with the level, so uh, the most probable direction is bouncing to the upside. But if it is going to break and close below now on Monday, so that will be a different story. But mostly I'm looking forward for price to bounce from this level. So let me see. Uh, what are the highlights in for our time frame at least we can understand exactly uh what is happening here so also in daily time frame i can do something with this push to the upside we are looking for fifth wave to be completed to the upside that's why i'm mostly recommending price to bounce from this level here because i'm still looking for the fifth wave to the upside so why price uh, is most likely to continue to the upside uh, this movement to the upside is just a correction so if it is correction so we can do a fibonacci retracement uh whereby we find that um now here this level is 61 percent now is most likely to be heated by price even though price currently has been moving has turned around the 50 percent and actually in my last week analysis i, I think just a week before so um actually i was mostly looking for price to turn around this region to turn here and continue to the downside but based on the current formation there's possibility for price to continue to the upside but if it is going to turn around here it is okay also so we can have updates when the market is going to turn now around this region and basically if it will hit this level now that's another thing if price is going to move up to this level up here it will provide very beautiful opportunities now to trade now in the coming week. So I'm mostly looking forward for price to hit this level and then we will have better opportunities to trade now after price has been uh, moving around this level. That is very, 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 very basic. And basically we see uh, we had this move to the downside. It was in a five wave. And this movement to the upside is also, I'm looking it to be in a five wave again. So if we have this five wave move in this direction and we have this big move here, so this is a correction. So now five wave move against the major trend now at this time frame. So 
five wave move against the major trend it's just the beginning of correction so actually now price moving to this level is not completion of the correction so it is just the beginning of correction so how far this correction is going to move we can have this level up here you see the level of the second wave so it can move as deeper as to up to this level here it can move as deep as up to this level here so how it's going to hit this level it doesn't mean price is going to move straight to this level no that will be a different formation so now now the overall projection for price to hit this level we expect the price is going to complete the fifth it will move in an a b c to the downside then it will complete this there you see so it will be a very long story so actually but this is just an overall map for price to hit this level so we can look forward for this formation and it will be a very beautiful if we find that price is already here we'll be looking for those cells and once it is here we will be picking other buys up to this level here so that is most likely to happen so let me go to for our time frame to see an exact direction and to see how we're going to trade next week so basically in four hour time frames we see now we see the details now you see the details of those five wave move to the upside everything is seen clearly here for those who know wave counts but if you don't know wave counts you see the levels here so price has been respecting the levels and it has came again to this um level here the resistance now has turned into support so we expect the price to be supported here and bounce to the upside but at the same time actually uh, there is minor thing here minor level minor level so yesterday i was looking for price to come here to this level i was mostly interested with the price hitting this level but it will it has started showing signs of returning here so it's not bad but mostly it may do something with this uh, whereby it may just quickly chop up down here touch this level then create a rejection to the upside so it may create a very serious week here and close within the channel you see how it did here it is like how it did here so it moved quickly to the downside and then closed within a channel so it may do an additional push here and then close again inside so actually now on opening of the market i'll be looking for now actually i will be trading now so i will be trading so basically how can i trade now um uh, next week actually i will look for uh, price uh, making clear formations for buy now either straight from here or through pushing down as i have said so if we we'll see price pushing down here and come again into the channel so it's when now i'm getting into the market so that's why i've marked this green level it is also uh, it is still very potential for price to hit here so once price has demonstrated all the all the uh signs of buying so if it has already demonstrated all the signs of buying so you will take your trades up then your stop loss actually may not be very far if it is going to to turn straight from here your stop losses can be around your stop losses around 1953 now around 1953 but if you can handle uh, most of the uh, negatives you can put it down around 1945 but i don't suggest that and then you would be putting your take it profits around 2006 2005 now remember 2006 or 2005 those are the take it profit regions even though it may do other things up there beyond 2005 and 6 but actually we are mostly guaranteed with the 2005 2006 that's very powerful so so that's how we are going to trade next week make sure that you put a comment if you think maybe there's something to add or any question or any suggestion or appreciations and also remember to like this video and also uh, make sure that you share actually it will help other traders out there to know now what is happening uh or what is possibly expected to happen and also make sure that you subscribe this channel if it is just your first time uh, because actually we share those analysis and also we have educational contents uh also they are available now in this channel so that's very very powerful so thank you for your time and have a great a great and super weekend